If I had one wish for the future of patient engagement, it would be that any project that goes forward involves patients. It's about having that real insight into people's lives and understanding people better. And the only way you can do that is by engaging with people and understanding people. It's an invaluable process. An organisation could set up all of the research projects in the world but they wouldn't really make sense if they didn't have information, feedback, experience from people who really live with a condition or care for somebody who has that condition. So you really need that insight in order to carry out thorough research. We need to work with them across the journey of designing and delivering that research to make sure that the research that we're doing is important to them and is accessible and understandable to people. I just think that partnering together, we can do better science. Real world evidence and data is important to me now because it's real life, it's, it's what people live through, it's what people experience. Gathering it allows them to share their experience with organisations that might be able to go on and help with their condition or medications. Patient and public involvement has been quite, uh, you know, it's been up and coming. It's, you know, in the last five, ten years, it's been improving quite a lot. But then in terms of real world data and evidence, that's the next thing that needs to really push on and it needs to be more exposed to the public so that they can get more involved. The one thing I would like to see in the future is more of the kind of involvement more people from lots of different backgrounds getting involved in the research and we need people to come in and talk to the likes of Pfizer and explain what their positions are and how the, 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 certain, the things that Pfizer are doing impacts upon them. PPI is of utmost importance in every single aspect of research studies and I think it needs a little bit of traction and I think when that happens it's going to really change the face of research like going forwards. We need to reach out to find the skills of, of these other groups that are not normally included because they've got often more to offer than the ones who you think. If you have a diverse enough group that is designing this, and like I said, the more patient and public involvement you have, the better these resources will be. Then you'll get the most engagement and you'll get the most benefit and best outcomes from um, real world data and evidence and any other research project. I would hope public involvement makes a difference by giving the developers of these drugs and therapies insight into what real people's lives are and uh, how the things that they're doing can actually be used to improve people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, it gives you hope that someone might listen, pick up something that might develop into something else. From my perspective, the people in all world should be involved with this because it's world data.